Hello all, my name is Abdul Rahman and in this video I am going to talk about these function parameters and then implementing those for our game. Let's get started. So now I will make my game multi line command here, one more here, and now in the bottom I will give it one more thing. So now I will do some e examples and then apply it to what we have. So now before doing that I will make some here some lots of spaces. I will save it now and now I will first of all I will define a function and then I will take I will give simple function which takes a and b and then returns a plus b. So I will give a restaf i t i o n okay. I am giving the name of the variable as addition and the brackets I will give phi a sorry a comma b I will go here and now I will return return a plus b right so now I will okay so you can you can do addition you don't need functions for doing addition you can do that by taking some variable some variable equals a and b or a plus b 7 or 6 or whatever you can do that by and then you can give print uh, some variable whatever and then run the program the output will be shown to the console so I have shown this for just clarity right so now I will give here this print and then when more 7 comma 6 or whatever and now if I run this program it's showing 13 right it's showing as 13 so we will clear up all this one so now what I will do is in place of print addition, it's taking much line, it's taking time, right? So I will give x equals add addition, then 7, comma x or whatever. And now if I run this program, 7, comma 6, I need to print the statement. Print x. Now, as you can see here, it's wait, it's coming. So the output is thirteen, right? So now, so now let's give one more thing. In place of seven, I will remove this seven and give here a hello. Hello, you can do like that also, right? So now, if I run this program. Oh, we, have, we have not given a space it's coming so it's coming hello world we have given right it's coming so now we will do one more experiment here is I will remove this hello world hello and then in place of I will give 7 and if I run that program again so it's showing us error why because we have given here 7 and then beside that world which means that we are telling that add 7 plus world okay they are not equal why because we have given their integer and another is string they are two different types of data we can't add them together so i will bring it back so if i give that in the quotation mark as you can see here it will show it will not show error. why because we have given them in the quotation mark okay it understand it as a string if i remove this and I run this program again showing us error why because we have done like that so I will remove this again and give hello heads and save it it's showing hello so I will yeah. so python is dynamically typed okay as you can see here we have given here a comma b and return a plus b and then what we are doing we are giving some string some integer float or whatever but as you can see here we are not saying that whether it's a string whether it's an integer whether it's a float boolean or whatever okay 
so whereas in other programming languages you need to say that whether it's a string string or float integer or whatever you need to give that okay in python also you can give like that but it's not in it right anyhow so now let's come to our game i will so i will remove this one this comment here now if i come at the bottom and i will save it if i run it again so now what i want to do is pass the player into the game board okay as you can see here pass 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 the player into the game board so now there are multiple different ways that you can utilize parameters so here i will use one way before doing that i will change my function name and variable name why because after some time there will be some error some there will be some error or there will be some confusion to, for us so i will give it as a game i will copy this see and now i will come here i will paste here and then I will save it. Now in place of player, what I will give is tick tag. Tag two bracket. Then I will copy this. C control C. And now I will so now if I run this program. So now let's run this program and see. So it's coming like this, right? So now I will. What I will do is, I will make. I will give here player. Then comma row comma. I will save it. And now I will make this two line comment. And now I run this program. Hey, it's showing us error. Now if I run it again, now now we will see that. Hey, it's showing us error. Why? Because type error. It's showing line number eleven. Tick tack toe missing three required. positional arguments player row and column what we are doing here is we have given here we have given here player row and column right we have passed here parameters but we have not given here which player we want to play which row we want to play or which column okay we have not given that that's why it's showing us error i will and now what i will do is in place of that i will give you a one and then this program showing from the time it was showing that required three positional arguments now it's showing two why because we have given here one right and we, we need to give two more so i will give here is two comma zero so okay here one means uh, first player player one and two means second row and zero means zero to column So it's understanding here. So now, if I run this program, it will show us. Okay, it's showing that whatever we have given. So if we remove now, I will do this at the last. I will remove this zero, and I will clear up all this one. And if I run this program. It's showing us error, and now I will give you zero. Last time I will run this program, so it's coming right now. So now, right now, I will close this one. Right now, our function is underneath. Okay, our code is to our functions underneath. so it's pretty legible because we can always just like glance up here okay 
but in long code that's not going to be legible okay so if you are giving if you are passing hard hard values like that then that will be very hard so there are some ways you could do that so here i will use one way is we can set defaults here by giving equals 0 and then here also i will copy that again We we'll copy this equals to zero, and now if I paste here, comma now, and paste it, and now if I run this program, we'll remove this one. And now I have set here defaults. So now still now it's running. So now let's add our sense. To our game board for actually marking up this game board right so now i will what i will do is i will add here some game game then row row right on that row row then again column equals to player the player and then at the bottom of what I will do is here I will copy this and here I will give player equals one to equals two column First one again. So now let's clear up all this one. Now, oh, we have not given a tab, right? Oh, we have opened a brackets. That's the problem, right? So now, if I so now it's been marked here, as you can see here. Will, this is not in a tight for some time <coughs> so now it's been marked here right as you can see it's been marked here so now the only other thing I will say here is probably if we said like we definitely want to have some sort of handling for how do we want to actually display the game if we didn't pass anything here so I will what I will do is I will click and clear up all that and now I will press here enter and then I will give a if not 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 if not I will give it like this player not equal to so in Python as you can see here exclamation mark then after that equals to mean without space means not equal to right remember this so now now i will tab it over i will come here and tab it over so if i run this program we will run this later so now you will also have a little like flag here or oh, it will make more sense just i will make it like that just flag just display a y okay then equals to false so now equals to false column equals to zero just to display is equals to false so now i will give the so in place of instead of if player is good i will give if not just display okay and here I will remove this comment so now <coughs> 
I will give here is just this day okay equals true so now if I run this program so guys it's been marked here and it's running now so guys that's all for this video and in the next video we will talk about mutability and immutability thank you all for watching my video and i will see you guys in the next video thank you bye bye